Hello to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to Jim's 5am club. I've just come out for a, uh, a lunchtime walk. It's a bit breezy at the moment so I'm just going to have to try and figure out where to position myself to do a 5am club where I don't get buffeted by the wind too much. Let's go on a bit of a walk and talk and I'll uh, maybe head up here and seek some shelter underneath the International Passenger Terminal. But we'll play it by ear anyway, we'll walk and talk and see where it leads us. Anyway, thank you once again for joining me. I'm rapidly, rapidly approaching my 500th uh, Jim's 5am vlog. I just can't believe it. It started as a bit of a joke, a bit of, a, of an experiment, and it's just continued to uh, grow and grow. And I'm having the time of my life, to say the least, because it's a, an activity that allows me to get up early in the morning and stay up late at night. So uh, once again, thank you for, for your support. I've had a few messages come through uh, with people um, giving me some uh, encouragement. So I thank you for the encouragement that's come through. And we'll just continue along our merry way. Anyway, today what I want to talk about is a, uh, a term that I came across, a sporting term that I came across when I was a young boy playing rugby league. But I think it's a term that uh, most of us can probably appreciate because uh, it impacts us all in many ways. And for those who are not aware of it, then what I'll try and do is explain it as best I can and you'll probably get the gist of it and understand how it impacts you and all the other people around you. When I was a young boy playing rugby league, there was a term called a hospital pass. And a hospital pass was when you were playing rugby league and you'd have the ball and you'd pass it to another player who was in a worse position than what you were only to allow the opposition to uh, crash tackle them and uh, possibly injure them and they had no way of, uh, of doing anything with the ball other than receive it and then just copper hammering. So that there serves as a, as a wonderful sort of metaphor and an, an analogy for the way a lot of us live our lives where we receive hospital passes from other people. We give hospital passes to others in our family and our lives. And uh, sometimes we even call for a hospital pass just to relieve people around us of their pain and suffering. But uh, I wanna focus on the hospital pass today in terms of the hospital passes that we give ourselves or the ones that we call, call for where we're not in a good position and we, uh, we cop a hammering um, because uh, where, where's this going to lead? Let's continue to walk and, bit, and chat it out. I guess where I want to lead with this is that uh, you don't really need to take a hospital pass for anybody and you, you don't need to give hospital passes to anybody the best thing is to try and deal with yourself, play the ball, try and outrun the opposition, or go to ground with it. But uh, the best thing of all is uh, when you've got the opposition or people just converging on you, the best thing to do with problems and issues and challenges is just give them the boot. As when you receive the pass, just kick it. Kick it to the sideline kick it as far away from you as possible and don't hold on to it because as we said before by holding on to it by embracing and holding on to a challenge a painful challenge can cause you pain and suffering whereas you've got the choice you can you can hold on to it or you can just disregard it kick it on kick it out of bounds and not have to deal with it and worry with it about it ever again. I guess the big challenge that uh, a lot of people face 
in their lives is that they tend to create a lot more problems than what they can solve. And uh, it's probably the way they see the world because a lot of the things that they see as problems and uh, things that they can't really manage or deal with aren't really their problem in the first place. What I learned over the years, and I'm sure that you'll be able to relate with this, is that other people's problems end up becoming our problems if we're not too careful. So uh, we need to be wary. We need to be on guard to deal, manage, and, um, and attack our problems head on, the ones that we've created. But problems that other people create around us aren't necessarily our problems. So you need to think whether or not you want to take it on or just uh, let it go to ground. So I guess the lesson here for young people, for children, especially those who have got elderly parents, is to be considerate and to understand that uh, there's a limit to how many challenges, issues, problems your parents can deal with. There are lots of uh, challenges that uh, a lot of people, people face and the older you get, the less capable, I'd say, the less capable you are of dealing with other people's problems because you've got enough problems of your own. You've got uh, problems, a lot of people have challenges and problems with their health um, and um, just getting through life and, uh, and they don't need to be, they don't deserve to be um, overwhelmed with other people's problems. So I guess the call to action for young people, and this is a serious subject, a touchy subject and a, and a difficult subject, the call to action is for young people is help your parents and grandparents where you can and try not to load them up with your problems, your challenges. Because your problems, your challenges may be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Um, and, and I'm not saying um, carry your problems and, and suffer your problems because families are there to, to help. But there are a lot of people who are drama queens, who bring a lot of problems upon themselves through the poor decisions that they continually make. And uh, these people need to be on notice that uh, their behaviors, their decision making, their uh, issues that they bring to their families are not welcomed. And they really need to, uh, I guess, grow up, wake up and uh, sort their lives out because it's just not fair for their parents and grandparents to be carrying the can, be carrying the burden, to be carrying the shame that's uh, foisted upon them by uh, other people around them. And another thing is, uh, let's go back to uh, ourselves. Sometimes we, we create problems and we cop a hospital pass ourselves when, uh, as I said before, the best option to what to, to what to do is to accept it and move on and just kick the hell out of that ball, just kick it out of the park and uh, delegate it, delegate it to uh, to uh, to the universe to sort it out. But uh, don't don't go out of your way to create problems um, through ego through uh, being selfish because uh, it's only going to cause further problems down the track. So the concept of the hospital pass, once again, is to uh, try and position yourself uh, before you're able or willing to call for the pass. And for the people who have got the ball, be considerate and think about what you're going to do with that ball. Show some leadership and don't be the, uh, the coward 
who passes that ball on to another person in a worse position, knowing that they're going to get crash tackled, smashed. But uh, they do it in order to uh, avoid the pain themselves. But uh, they don't really care for the pain that's caused by their uh, partners, their friends, their family, their grandparents. It's only themselves that they're worried about. Anyway, I think that's it for today. It's a, it's a, it's a to topic off the cuff. May not have covered it as well as what I may have, may have, but uh, that's the beauty of Jim's 5am club, is that we walk and talk, we go for a chat, we go for a walter, we mull over things, we don't know what we're gonna start with or what we're gonna end with. But uh, one thing for sure and for certain is that we're going to share some experiences, um, share some thoughts, and hopefully get through the rest of the day and prepare us for uh, days in the future. So let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly, Be the master or the mistress, whichever you choose to be. Be the master, be the, be the pivot and be thoughtful about what you do with the ball, which are the problems that you have in your life um, and think whether or not it's something that you can deal with yourself. And uh, if it's something that you need help with, seek proper health, health Help, help, and don't be tempted just to hospital pass it to a family member or a friend who is not in a better position than you are to deal with the problem. And uh, sometimes a lot of the problems that we have, a lot of the fears that we have, are irrational and are not worth um, worrying about overly too much because we've learnt through observation that well over 90% of the fears that people have about their future never come to fruition. So a lot of those fears, as we've mentioned time and time again, a lot of those fears are irrational fears and fears that just hold us back, create problems, create distance amongst friends and family and are things that are best, as we said, taken the ground or punted as far away as possible and just either ignored or just told to get all, go away and just don't come back. Thank you once again and I look forward to coming to you tomorrow. Um, 5 a.m. from a different location with a different message and we'll see where it leads us. Uh, so let's just focus on the uh, Opera House I think today and we'll finish off. Yes, us. Bye for now. If you like ya, kisses to everybody. Ciao for now.